Today's video is sponsored by Dell. Yep, your eyes are not deceiving you, ladies and gentlemen. What you are looking at is the brand new XPS 14, and they are bringing back, Dell is bringing back the XPS 14 here as we are starting CES 2026 here in Las Vegas. And look at that, the XPS logo on the lid. Finally, I've been asking for that for years. And then of course, uh, look at this, right? So in the graphite color, thinner, lighter, running Intel's brand new Panther Lake. Now I've teamed up with Dell for this video, but I cannot bring you any benchmark numbers with this. Uh, not yet, not until I get a production unit. This is a pre-production unit, but they corrected a lot of the things that people complained about, uh, including myself, although I was a little bit more favorable. I didn't have a problem with the rebranding, but I did have a problem with taking away the XPS brand. And I did make it known in private meetings that I've had with Dell over the past year, saying bring back XPS, it has a certain panache, a certain cachet, brand recognition as a flagship, and they they listened, right? So they brought it back. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the return of Dell XPS here for 2026, coming up. All right, we're gonna start off with the build and design, and this has that premium build that we want. It's very Apple-esque, very MacBook-esque, and that is a compliment. It is rock solid, no give or flex on the chassis. Uh, really amazing build here, I gotta say. They made it thinner and they made it lighter. Now let's get a measurement of the weight. All right, with just the unit alone, we're looking at 1.39 kilograms and that is three pounds, one ounce on the dot. So that is just for the unit alone. And then when you factor in the travel weight here with the power cord and the power supply, 100 watts USB type C, you're looking at 1.701 kilograms, and that is three pounds, 12 ounces for a total travel weight. So they shaved the weight and the size down with this brand new XPS 14. Now in the box, expect to find the XPS, obviously, the power cord and the 100 watt power supply, that is pretty good. So this is pretty compact for 100 watts. It's USB type C, and they actually shrunk this down. This used to be a lot larger when they put 100 watts. So nicely done there by Dell. And for those wondering, yes, you can open the lid with one finger if that is important to you. And there you can see the tandem OLED display. It is a glossy display, but not bad in terms of the reflection. They put a anti-reflective coating on it. It is a touchscreen display. That has worked very well. It has a variable refresh rate from one to 120 Hertz. So when you don't need the high refresh rate for the video and games and stuff like that, you are reading text, a spreadsheet where you don't really need the high refresh rate. This will go down to as low as one Hertz. And that means you're going to get the efficiency and the battery life that this will provide. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I cannot show you any benchmarks. This is running the latest processor from Intel, the Core cool Ultra processor, the X7. Uh, but again, I cannot show you the numbers since uh, I am under embargo on that. That being said, I have been using it for the past few weeks and I am excited about improved CPU performance and the GPU in terms of the integrated graphics. So we're gonna talk about that very soon, but stay tuned, we'll have more to say on it, but so far looking really exciting. Very good anticipation coming up with that, so I am excited. All right, let's take a look at the ports on this, and on the left side, two Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full function, supporting data charge and display out. On the right side, you get a third Type-C port, Thunderbolt 4, also full function, and your 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack, rounding out the ports on this unit. On the bottom, there is nothing, obviously, except the logo there. And on the back, you get some venting there. This is a premium all-metal design. And of course, the lid is uh, glass over here, Gorilla Glass, and we're gonna talk about that 
right now because this keyboard has some major changes. They brought some things back, so I am pretty happy with it. Let's take a look at it now. So one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is this physical function row. Gone is that capacitive row that everybody poo-pooed. They were not happy about it, especially coders that wanted the physical escape key. Well, you have it back there. Uh, very happy to see that. Now, another complaint was you didn't know where the touchpad would begin and end on this glass touchpad. It's haptic, it's still very good, obviously, for scrolling, doing all your gestures. But now they have these little etchings here, these two lines here, and it tells you where the touchpad begins and ends. You can see it there. Uh, really, really good stuff. And you actually feel it so you know where the be beginnings and endings are in terms of that touchpad. So very good improvement there. Still going with the Zero Lattice keyboard, so I'm a big fan of that, so I have no complaint there. Got a nice multi-stage backlight on it, so if you want to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment, you have that option. So that is there, uh, pretty good. Now, as far as colors are concerned, this is the graphite. We've seen it before. It's iconic with the XPS. And they have a new color called Shimmer. It's on the borderline of champagne or gold, and it is absolutely gorgeous. That's coming later this year. But it has like a gold kind of color, goldish kind of color. Kind of nice looking, actually. I kind of really like it. Can't wait to get one in to try out. But I love this graphite, as you know. So no platinum or anything like that. No, that, I think, is gone but they're gonna to stick to the tried and true color here with the graphite and that gold color as well. All right, we're looking at quad speakers here and they are really good. So let's give a listen to it again. I don't know if this is gonna be the final uh, production unit type sound, but if this is anything close to that, uh, pretty amazing the fact that they have such good sound on this. Let's give it a listen and we'll talk more about it once I get a production unit and compare it to other devices. But for now, let's get an idea of the sound. I will say, sounded pretty amazing. I am excited about the sound on this. So far, looking really good. All right, let's give a listen to how the keyboard sounds as far as what it sounds like in a meeting when you're typing. So this is the camera on the brand new Dell XPS 14, brand new for 2026. They just took the wraps off of this bad boy. And I gotta say, I'm impressed. Now, what do you think about the camera? It is an IR camera. That means you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. You can do all the studio effects with the auto framing, all that stuff. And of course, the background effects. This is the standard blur. What do you think about the portrait blur? Let me know. This is an IR camera. That means you can log in with face recognition for Windows Hello. That has been working out very well. Uh, very, very nice camera here. They're using the Intel IPU, the image processing unit. That certainly helps that. So really good stuff. I can't wait to bring you more in the upcoming full review when I get a production unit. But even as you can see here, this thing looks pretty awesome. Let me know how it looks. And maybe most importantly, how does it sound? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, here's a look at this absolutely gorgeous display here. And yes, it is a glossy display, but take a look at that. That looks pretty amazing. And you can get the side angle from there. Gorgeous tandem OLED display. It is absolutely gorgeous here. It is bright, it is sharp, it looks great. So I am very happy with this display. There's no doubt about it. So looking pretty good. Blacks are really deep. Everything looks really good here. So I am very happy. All right, and here's the 120 hertz. Scrolling on this has been great. Again, there's the delineation of where the haptic touchpad begins and ends. You can see the line right there, and you could actually feel it. And then, of course, uh, this is very smooth, and then you can use your finger pinch to zoom. Navigating the OS with your finger works very well. So very, very good in terms of this tandem OLED display. All right, I'll have more to say on this very soon. I wanna thank Dell for partnering with me on this video to give you a first look at this Dell XPS 14. Big, exciting news. 
XPS is back. We have the XPS 14, we have the XPS 16, and later on in 2026, an XPS 13 to come in at a more affordable price. Remember, these are flagships, but you're going to have that flagship experience, but you won't break the bank on that XPS 13. It's in the early stages. I didn't get any pre-production unit or any hands-on time with it. They're still planning that, but that will be coming later in 2026. They'll also announce new Alienware stuff that we're going to talk about in a separate video. And not only are they showing off some great laptops and PCs, they were also debuting two really stunning monitors. In fact, they just sent me one. It's the Dell UltraSharp 52, and it's the world's first 52-inch 6K monitor. That's right. You heard that correctly, 6K. It has 120 hertz, and it uses the IPS True Black technology. So you're going to get that really deep black and the really high contrast that we really like out of OLED, but with IPS technology. Pretty impressive. I'll have a separate video on that very soon. They also had a quantum dot OLED display that was simply stunning. That will also be coming. Hopefully, I'll get a review unit soon, so stay tuned. But that thing is absolutely gorgeous. Well, we'll talk more about these monitors very soon. And I'll have more to say on this and other stuff here from Las Vegas. But I want to thank Dell for partnering and sponsoring today's video and for allowing me to bring you this first look at the brand new XPS 14. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. And if you're a casual viewer of my content, why not hit that subscribe button? It doesn't cost anything. And it certainly helps support the channel as we are making our big push for, get this, 400,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we're going to get it maybe halfway. We'll see. Maybe we'll get 500,000 by the end of the year. Again, you never know. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.